In the language of the U.S. Department of Defense, these are unidentified aerial phenomena, videos which add fuel to the belief of some that we are not alone. The first incident was filmed off the California coast in 2004, an oval shape hovering, and in the words of the Navy pilot who recorded this, not behaving by the normal laws of physics. In 2015, pilots flying off the east coast of America spotted this. Again, its speed and movement apparently astounding experienced air crew. That same year, racing across the surface of the ocean, something that it took some skill to capture. All of these videos have been leaked in the past, but the US government now confirms they are genuine. In a statement, the Department of Defense said it was releasing the videos in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that's been circulating was real or whether or not there is more to the videos. The aerial phenomena observed in these videos, they say, remain characterized as unidentified. Those who've actually been to space are skeptical about what the videos reveal. These objects are probably some kind of secret military program and uh, what these pilots saw were, you know, were real. They saw them and they, they uh, filmed and photographed them and the Pentagon, I'm, I'm assuming, declassified them because uh, there was a lot of speculation going out there. They had already been leaked, so uh, why not come out and say, okay, these, these films are genuine, they do exist, uh, but we don't know what they are. Of course, the U.S. has a long history of reported UFO sightings. This image, captured by a couple in Oregon in 1950, regarded as one of the most significant. They were certain this was a UFO. And the Nevada desert continues to attract those who believe, seriously or not, that Area 51 houses crashed alien spacecraft and their occupants. And with the world gripped by more earthbound concerns right now, these videos will, for many, confirm what they've always believed, that the truth is out there. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.